Wow, that's a tiny oil filter. It is an original Mopar Fiat Chrysler oil filter. Ooh, and it gives you pictograms to get the job done. So I think it's telling me once it contacts, do one full turn, fill oil, and then check it. Anyhow, there it is. And that thing is going on this thing. 5.7 liter Hemi. 16 spark plugs, which I will have to change one day. This is my daughter's car. This is her 2020 Dodge Charger that needs an oil change. So she's a bit apprehensive to take it back to the quick lube place because I guess they put the wrong filter on it last time and she had to take it to the Mopar dealer and they charged her like an extra hundred bucks to diagnose the oil leak and put the right filter on it. Well, let's get underneath it and see what it's got. And yes, it does have a decorative engine cover, which I have removed. I never put these things back on. I think the engine breathes a little bit better. Not as far as normally aspirated breathing, but as far as heat dissipation, if it doesn't have that big cover on it. But that's just my opinion. And you know, opinions are like a-holes. Everyone's got one, most of them stink. So I did already pull off the uh, cover here for 10 millimeter bolts. And there is an instruction on here. Remove for engine service. Torque bolts to 35 inch pounds. Huh, I wonder if that was done. I just used my little impact to get them off. All right, let's get underneath this thing. I've already got a drain pan sitting down here ready to go. And it is safely supported up on jack stands. Okay, so I've never been under this car before. So this will be a first. So there is the oil pan, and there is the drain plug right there. Now it looks like a plastic transmission pan. Luckily, it is not leaking. And where is the freaking oil filter on this thing? There's the steering rack. Seepage, but not leakage. Oh, there it is. Well, let's get the drain pan set up here. I wonder if whoever put this on last at the Dodge dealer tightened it oh no look at that I can take it off by hand and so let's spin it off just a little bit probably leak a little bit got the pan going on down there hopefully I didn't splash the camera more than is absolutely necessary okay that should be good I'm gonna get oil on my arm I just know it but it's all good Try not to drop it. Ooh, hot. Ooh. There we go. Um, that does not look like an original Mopar filter, which they said they put on. Interesting. Uh, it doesn't even list Mopar on it. Strange. Well, I'll just have to compare the original Mopar filter that I got. And I think it looks pretty doggone close. All right, so side-by-side -side comparison with the premium guard filter and the Mopar filter. Just looking at the thread size and whatnot, it appears to be identical, so I think we're gonna have a winner winner chicken dinner here at least. So this thing holds seven quarts of oil and such a small filter, I just don't understand that at all. But anyhow, we've gotten some oil out of the filter and the uh, pump siphoned some out, I'm sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and dump my drain pan and then hopefully it'll hold the other probably six and a half quarts as I take the drain plug out. So I'm going to apply just a little bit of used oil to the gasket that has crud on it. Stop it. And then uh, we'll spin this back on, tighten it up. And stop it. I said stop it. And then we'll drain the oil pan. All right, 
fresh oil on the gasket. I'm gonna wash the oil off of my hands and then that way I can get good torque on this thing. All right, new filter going on. I'm gonna say that's uh, at least one full turn. I may give it a little additional torque. Yep. Okay. I'm good with that. Next for the mess. And it looks like probably about a 13 millimeter on the drain plug. And uh, what is this? Deep, deep tooth motor, interesting, okay. All right, one moment. I'll try to set this up. Well, you might be able to see it as I make a total mess here. Oh, it's not gonna stand up, doggone it. All right, let me just go back a little farther. And can I see it? Yes, I can, perfect, okay. One moment while I get a wrench and take the drain plug out. Okay, here we go. I've got a Quinn 13 millimeter socket. And oh, look at that, it's perfect. Let's see how tight this thing is. Oh, it's not too bad at all. Okay. Let's see if I can do it without making too much. I know it's gonna block you, but I'm sorry. Too much of a mess here. There we go. Oh. Ooh, hopefully it's gonna hold it all. Ooh, it's gonna be tight. There it goes, slowing down. Well, I got about an inch to go in the drain pan and it's slowing down good. I think we'll be okay at this point. Okay, and we'll come back in a couple minutes after the drip drops have finished draining. That thing is full, look at that. Well, the oil really doesn't look too terribly bad. You can actually see through it, it's very caramel colored. Definitely not deep black, but one thing I would recommend is replacing this drain plug with a magnetic drain plug. I do that on all my vehicles at this point just to catch any ferrous metals. It keeps them out of the filter and it does extend the filter life very slightly. Well, like I said, we'll check back here in probably another five or 10 minutes when it's done draining. Okay, I think that's good enough. It's down to a drip, 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 so. And I did clean off the drain pan or the drain plug. I did not change the gasket. It is not leaking in the least. I don't even see any seepage around it. Okay, I'm good with that. I'm not gonna super torque it because this is an aluminum pan and I just don't wanna strip out the threads. Okay, and we'll go ahead and torque the oil drain pan bolt to 25 foot pounds. That's good. And we'll go ahead and fill this thing with oil and finish it off. Okay, SAE 5W20 is what it recommends. So we're just gonna set the camera here. Hopefully you can see it. My made in America funnel. So I think it's made in America. Not quite sure. And I'm gonna start with five quarts of full synthetic 5W20. Now this is the Walmart SuperTech brand. I don't know if you can see it there, but it is full synthetic oil. So we'll dump in five quarts to start with. It 
it claims it needs seven, so we'll see how that goes. So what's going on? I'm videoing. Not you. Well, yeah, but they can hear you. Oh. <laughs> I was talking to Ash. <laughs> well, YouTube's going to hear you. Okay, hi, YouTube. There's the wife. Yeah, you are being recorded. We'll just pretend. Wait. Dude, did you see this? Okay, so there's five quarts. Whoops. Oh, I don't know how I did it. And then we'll come over here. And I got the dipstick pulled out. Your dipstick. Put it back in there. Pull it out. Wipe it off. I just want to see where five quarts is. It definitely should be on the bottom of the dipstick at this point. And it's de it's below the add mark. So if that is one quart, that's another quart. We're about right here right now. So I'm going to say it's going to need two more quarts. But before I do that, I want to go ahead and start it up and make sure that we don't have any leaks underneath. a good sign. Uh, definitely sounds like a Hemi. Definitely sounds like a Hemi. Okay, I'm going to shut it off, add the last two quarts, put the uh, little belly pan back on it, and we'll call this one done. Incidentally, just in case you wanted, once again, it is a 2020 Dodge Charger with 38,128 miles on it, 21.2 average miles per gallon. Not bad for a Hemi, I gotta say, not bad for a Hemi. So, now I gotta figure out how to reset the oil interval. Trip info, audio, screen setup, speedometer, vehicle info. Okay, let's go to that. Tire pressure, coolant temp, trans temp. What's this say for oil temp? 170. 44 pounds. Oil life, 27%. Hold, okay to reset. To reset oil life, engine must be off with ignition and run, okay? There it's off. Okay, how do I turn the accessory on all right one moment okay I think I figured out the problem I did not have the keys in the car all right stop your beeping sorry okay now let's go back into the menu oil life hold okay to reset I'm holding and I guess it reset. All right, let's start it up. Nope, still not happy. Accessory, run, okay, there we go. Now we're in run. My bad. Oil life, hold okay to reset. Let's do this. Oil life, 100%. There we go. Okay, let's put the last two quarts in it and wrap this thing up. Okay, here we go. Last two quarts going in.
Just a hair more. Okay, I'm gonna call that good. Seven quarts of oil. All right, I'm gonna do one more startup and check the oil, and I think we'll be done. And we are right between the add and safe. It is sitting uh, at an angle right now because it's on jack stands. But I think we're gonna be good. Okay, let's get these things torqued down. Hopefully they didn't pre-strip them out for me. There it is, 35 inch pounds. Not very tight. All right, there it is, 35 inch pounds, all done. Okay, here we go, engine cover, decorative engine cover, going back on. It just barely hangs on. I mean, this thing was like, does it even latch? That, that's it? There we go. Okay, well that's definitely much better because it was loose. Okay, I think we're done. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. Go ahead and leave me a question, a comment, a concern down below, good or bad. I try to respond to the comments when I have time. While you're done, I hit that subscribe button and like this video, it really does help my channel grow. You can follow me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter at NorCal715. You can email me NorCal715videos at gmail.com. That is the best way to contact me. Once again, please be patient with so much going on right now. It's been a while since I've checked messages. If you try to contact me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, please be aware. It might be weeks or months or never before I respond. If you want to get a hold of me, use the Gmail address only. All right, there you go. 2020 Charger 5.7 Hemi. Oil change. Everybody have a great day. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.